Yeah, Mrs. McCain welcoming us into her home this morning to talk about this announcement. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you kind of telegraphed this at the Democratic National Convention. You narrated a very warm video about your husband's relationship mm -hmm. with Joe Biden. What was the tipping point for making this announcement for endorsing Joe Biden right now? Well, like most Americans, I've been watching what's going on uh, in the campaigns and certainly not just in the campaigns, but what's going on legislative and, and of course on the Hill. And I'm very concerned for my country and I felt that it was time that, uh, that I do this. And, and uh, you know, I believe as my husband did in country first and this, what's happening right now is not country first. The, the divisity, the, the, the entire um, craziness that's happening on Capitol Hill is is taking this country down. So uh, I believe that Joe Biden is the one that can not only bring the country back together, but, but he has the courage, the integrity, the empathy uh, and uh, in, in, to, to do just that. And as a, as a woman, as a grandmother, as a business owner, I feel like Joe would have my back. Right now, I don't feel like my president has my back. And that's important to me. And you talked about a recent uh, report, The Atlantic, uh, about uh, Donald Trump's visit to France, where he was reportedly said, uh, describing veterans as losers mm -hmm. and suckers. We know the history of his comments about mm -hmm. your husband. What role did that play? It played a role, uh, obviously, because as you know, our family is steeped in tradition in the military. And any other family in this country who not only, whose children not only served, but gave the ultimate sacrifice are not losers. They're not suckers. And they should be respected for what they are and they're heroes. And so I, I just felt I took that very personally. And I think, I think, I think a lot of people did. But I, again, Joe is the one, you know, I've known him for over 40 years, my husband and I have. And, Joe and, and our family shared a common bond, and that was we're Blue Star parents. And we watched our children get on an airplane and fly into combat. And I see the Blue Star uh, They're everywhere, yeah. Everywhere <laughs> They're everywhere. In this room we're in. <laughs> yeah. Was this a family decision? Did you talk about it with your sons, both veterans, one mm -hmm. of Iraq, one of mm -hmm. Afghanistan, mm -hmm. uh, with Megan McCain, yes. who needs no introduction? Yeah. Yes, I did. Of course I did. Uh, we do. We try to do everything as a family and kind of make these decisions as best we can. Um, we've not been involved, as you know, since my husband's passing. So uh, I felt like I needed to consult them, and they're all, you know, they were all, all for it. So I'm. Happy. Nobody tried to stop you. No one. No. No one tried to stop me. No. And you know, I. I think also though, this, it, it's about what we believe in as a family and as a country that courage matters. Courage and country matter, mm -hmm. and to to simply you know somehow roll over everyone and not not do what's right, not work across the aisle, not be um, not be someone who can people who can agree to disagree but compromise and come together, and that's where Joe is really remarkable at that. He and my husband, you know, didn't agree on a whole lot politically, mm -hmm. but we're great friends. This is a real maverick. Yeah. Kind of move, isn't it? You thought about that? <laughs> I, I, not until really a couple of days ago, but yeah, it, it is a maverick, uh, a maverick thing to do, and I hope my husband thinks the same thing. If he were still with us, would he be sitting right here next to you endorsing Joe Biden? Uh, you know, it's a good question, probably, but I'm, you know, I, I would hate to, to admit any of that. I don't know, obviously, uh, the only, only the ultimate one knows. Uh, but I think he would be very disappointed in what's going on in this country and also very concerned that we were not headed the right way and not showing the proper respect and dignity and courage that uh, the United States of America should, should represent. And we have heard from the president this morning uh -huh. on Twitter, um, just not as nasty as we've seen him, but still not very nice. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Are you on Twitter watching, or are you just no, no, just shutting I, it down? No, no, I don't even follow him. So, yeah. Okay. Well, the polls tell us that ninety percent of Arizona Republican voters mm -hmm. would disagree with you, mm -hmm. Governor Ducey. I don't know if you've spoken to him about this, mm -hmm. have you? Mm -hmm. I have. You have. What did he say? Well, I spoke with him just to let him know what I was doing out of courtesy, and uh, uh, it was a fine conversation. So 90% of Arizona voters are solidly with President Trump. What would you say to them 
Who are you trying to talk to, speak to right now in endorsing Joe Biden? I'm speaking to women particularly, women who have been disenfranchised a great deal, who maybe are on the fence. They they want to, they're they are not sure they want to step out of their comfort zone and go with someone who's who is of a different party and perhaps a different you know they have, they don't always agree with, but has the courage and the moral compass to do the job. And we're lacking that right now. We're lacking a, a lot of different things that, that have made this country great. And so I hope that, that people will maybe perhaps take a look at me and say, okay, if she can do it, I can do it. And, and join Team Biden. There is uh, a woman running for the U.S. Senate, mm -hmm. Martha, Senator Martha McSally, running to win mm -hmm. election to the seat. Uh, are you going to support her opponent? Are you going to come out and endorse her? How do you feel about that race? I'm not getting involved. It's, it's, I made the, the uh, I've talked openly about not getting involved in either race. Martha McSally is also a veteran, has chosen her mm -hmm. words very carefully in defending your husband from President Trump's attacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think she can speak out more strongly or should speak out more strongly? Well, I, I think anyone, not just, not just uh, her, but I think anyone needs to follow their heart and follow their, their, their compass and do what they believe is right, and because that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, we're surrounded by pictures of your family in <laughs> <Yeah>. this room. <laughs> uh, I have it's to a ask living about memory. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a lot more grandchildren. <laughs> uh, I have to ask about uh, the McCain family and and who might be next. Uh, your son Jack McCain seems to be going down that path. Is there a chance he might get into? Politics. I, think, I think any one of my children could get into politics, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. So I and I would support any one of them because I know who they are as, a, as human beings and who they are as, as people. And so I think I think any one of them, you, you never know who might pop up. Okay. So uh, now that you've endorsed Joe Biden, uh, what comes next with you and the Biden campaign? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm uh, you know, where I'm doing things like this and, and we'll be we'll continue to do this. Uh, the campaign is somewhat virtual, as you've seen. Um, I, I hope he comes to Arizona. I believe he's going to, and then I probably will join him on that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, COVID, uh, we're being very careful, as the Biden team is, about COVID. So we're taking it uh, slow and easy with those, okay. with that. And just getting back to you, you've been a part of the Republican fabric of this mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. for decades. Mm -hmm. You expect to lose some friends over this? I have no idea. It, you know, I would hope that people would see beyond that. But more importantly, um, I need to let people know I'm not re-registering. I'm remaining a Republican, mm -hmm. and I'm re and always have been a Republican. This isn't about party politics. This is about what's good for this country. It mm -hmm. transcends all of that. It's about America. And would you expect to disagree with some or a lot of what a Biden administration sure. might do in office? Sure, what? I believe I will disagree. But the, the good thing about that is, is that Joe is willing to talk. He's willing to listen, uh, like just exactly what he used to do when he was in the Senate. And so I respect him for that. And, and he will listen and do, do what's, what he believes is right. And we may not always agree, but I believe more importantly in the man and who I know as a man who I've known for 40 years, someone with courage, integrity, decency, empathy, uh, someone who will, will lead this country in the right direction. Okay. And uh, Megan is her own woman. She's a public <laughs> figure now. Yeah. She's spoken very warmly about Joe Biden mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. very publicly about mm -hmm. it. Would you expect her to come out and endorse? I have no idea. I have honestly have not spoken to her about that. I have not talked about that at all. No, no. We're having a baby. <laughs> There's a baby on the way. <laughs> okay. On that note, we'll end it. Thank you. Okay. And we'll send it back to you guys.